In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to transfer ownership in Canva, a useful feature for when you're handing over responsibilities or sharing projects with teammates, ensuring a seamless transition. Let's dive right in. First things first, you need to go to canva.com. Once you're there, look for the login button at the upper right corner of the home page. Click on it to sign in using your credentials. Now, if you haven't already signed up, Canva offers a variety of ways to log in, whether it's through Google, Facebook, or simply using your email. Once you're logged in and find yourself on the homepage, direct your attention to the top right area. There you'll see a gear icon. This is your gateway to the settings. Click on it and let's move forward. In the settings area, you'll find a side menu. Here, your goal is to locate and click on permissions. Think of permissions as the control center for who can do what with your designs and projects, crucial for collaboration. After you've accessed the permissions section, the next move is to click on team content. This page is key to managing who has access to the team's designs and how they interact with them. Keep in mind that team collaboration in Canva is all about ensuring that everyone has the right access and capabilities. Now let's talk about the core of today's tutorial, enabling the ownership transfer. Scroll down to the bottom of the page. Here you'll find the option to enable ownership transfer. This function is vital for the transfer of authority over designs and projects. It's important to note that once you enable ownership transfer, you won't be able to use it immediately. There's a mandatory five day waiting period after it's activated. This is designed to give everyone involved ample time to prepare for the change. During this period, Canva will also notify your entire team about the enabled ownership transfer. This notification is not just a heads up, it's crucial as it allows team members to delete any designs or content that might hold personal or sensitive information. It's always best practice to ensure that anything personal doesn't transfer over unintentionally. And there you have it. Transferring ownership in Canva is straightforward, but making sure to follow each of these steps ensures that your transition is smooth and secure. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more helpful tips and tutorials.